Hey, I'm Dr. Dave Harris. This is a series of videos on television and video production. We're talking about video switchers and specifically in this video about program and preview. This is basic instruction on how a video switcher works. As we have here an ATEM switcher, this is a common switcher in the, in the prosumer industry and becoming more professional as time goes on. They come in different sizes, but the operation of the switcher is basically the same no matter who makes the switcher or what size the switcher may be. We've essentially got a program bus, which is displayed here. It's generally red. Now this one has red lights, but it may actually just be red buttons themselves, depending on the type of switcher that's been manufactured. That's the program bus. We also have the preview bus, which is going to be a road usually down near the bottom of the switcher and in this switcher they're colored green. Now the switcher depending on the size may have multiple program buses and multiple preview buses which add additional functionality and different layers to the finished video production. But the concepts are the same, a program bus and what may be a preview bus, something like that. We've got inputs which are represented by columns on the switcher. So this one right here is marked black, BLK which means that this button on the program bus would be to bring black to program, meaning the output of the switcher would display black. If we brought black to preview, it would mean that we haven't brought it out to program yet. It's not being output by the switcher, but we could very easily bring black to program by pushing a cut button, which I'll talk about in just a second. The locations of inputs on the switcher are customizable, meaning that this is, says black, this is cam one, cam two, cam three, this one's labeled Mac A, but we could just as easily have the cameras over here, Mac A over here, we could not have black on here at all. It's essentially totally customizable as far as the location of the inputs on that switcher. Inputs could be video signals, they could be media players, they could be background colors like black or some other color. There's lots of variety as far as the inputs on a switcher. As far as using the buses, we could cut a program just by changing things right here on the program bus. In other words, if I just want to cut to black, I could just push that button right there and immediately black would be cut on our finished picture. Or if I want to cut to camera one, I could just push that button, camera one would be sent out to program and would be out to tape or out to live or be a part of our recording. Or alternatively, I could bring camera one to preview, like is shown here, camera two is currently on program, and then I could just wait and wait until I have the ability to either cut or auto transition. Now, why would we wanna do this? I'll tell you, there has been many times where I have wanted to see a camera before bringing it live. By pushing that button on the preview bus, I have the ability to see it on one of my large monitors, make sure it looks good before actually bringing it live. And it allows me to use my left hand to choose on the preview bus which, is which input is going to come next. And then I have with my right hand on the cut and auto buttons, the ability then to cut that live or auto transition at live, which would then do a dissolve or a wipe or something like that, depending on what's chosen as my transition type, which we'll talk about in another video. So I can cut, I can auto, or I have the ability to use the fader bar, which is the bar that's right here to bring that transition live uh, in my, at my own manual duration. I wanna last talk about this idea of the flip-flop. I'm gonna go back one graphic and I wanna show you that right now camera two is selected, camera one is in preview. If I push that cut button, what's going to happen is the switcher is going to flip-flop those two signals. What used to be in program is going to move down to preview. What was in preview is going to move up to program. In other words, camera two, which is currently live, is going to be brought down to preview and camera one then will be brought live. In other words, those two things will flip-flop. That can be very, very good for you to understand as far as the operation of a switcher. That when you bring camera one to preview, push that cut button, camera two is gonna be brought to preview and you can change it as your heart desires all day long if you want. This is the basic functionality of a switcher. I also wanna let you know lastly before we go that this auto transition is going to use the transition rate as its duration for that transition. Right now it's set for one second. That can be changed up in the menu section which is a part of another video. This video is part of a series of videos on television and video production. I invite you to our channel to find playlists and subscribe for new videos. Do visit our Patreon page if you wanna become a patron and thank you for your support. I am Dr. Dave Harris.